The Belgian Malinois is one of the four Belgian Shepherds. This breed is the most common within the military and police force, as well as guard dogs, watchdogs, custodian dogs, whichever word is used, and other tougher tasks that a dog can perform. In previous videos, we've established that this is not a dog for everyone, and today we're going to dive into the amazing temperament of this dog and explain more about why this is a dog who shouldn't just be with any old family. Welcome back to the Femre and Malinois show. If this is your first time here, my name's Will. I'm a canine behaviorist and I'm the founder here at FemreCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything about the Belgian Malinois. And if you love the Malinois as much as we do here at Fenrir, start by hitting that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell and you'll never miss a future video. Now, the Belgian Malinois has a background as a herding and guarding dog. This makes him extremely alert on what's going on around him and equally extremely quick to react. Now, there's a difference between herding a flock of livestock or sheep and walking the streets in a busy city. What are amazing traits in the countryside can be less so in other circumstances. Consequences of this can be a Malinois nipping at someone's heels, wanting to chase bikes, rollerblades, cars, small children, running and playing, not to mention smaller animals like cats and rabbits. Not a very charming side with the Malinois, especially if you don't know how to deal or work with a dog like this. Hey guys, if you're not already, you should be following our Fenrir Rescue Diaries over on Fenrir Canine Training Channel. That is following my journey of working at a rescue centre, helping dogs that have been abandoned, abused, given up or found as strays, and helping implement behaviour modification programmes to allow them to become perfect canine companions that can be rehomed to their forever homes. So if you're interested in following my journey of how I do that, there'll be a link to that channel down in the description box below. I think you'll really enjoy the journey, but I'll let you get back to the video you were just watching. And Malinois is very protective. He'll protect you, your family and your property until the very end. Unfortunately, this can mean that he'll also protect his own toys, chewing bones and sticks. And he needs serious training to let go of what he considers his, which is why it's so important to have a calm, consistent leader in their lives. Like most breeds, a Malinois is quite contradictory. On one hand, they are a very serious breed with their protective and guarding skills. On the other hand, they are very playful, but they do play roughly and they love to roughhouse. Therefore, keeping a Malinois in your house if you have young kids or toddlers may not be the best idea. They are also extremely loving and loyal to their family, but can be reserved towards strangers. Now, the Malinois is not a dangerous breed. No dog is dangerous by nature. Some of them, however, like the Malinois, were bred for tasks that need traits that make them more or less suitable for certain circumstances. The Malinois is best suited for the person or family who is active, athletic, and knowledgeable about dogs, canine behavior, and canine training, preferably to elite levels. This is needed, especially since these amazing dogs are so quick between thought and action. You need to be at least as fast as your dog when it comes to training, because otherwise he'll always be well ahead of you in his mind. And if he's ahead of you, his ideas of what should be done may not be in line with your ideas. Now, in some circles, it's been said that the show lines are more dangerous than the working lines. Why is that? Because they are more prone to fear-based aggression than the aggression based on dominance. The working line Malinois is very self-confident, brave, and have a very low survival instinct. This means that he'll do whatever you ask of him, no matter if there's danger and risk for his life. A good advice is to not abuse this in your dog if you don't know what you're doing and can support him all the way, which is another reason why it's incredibly important only certain people have one. As if all this wasn't enough, a Malinois has a never-ending supply of energy. Where most other dogs like to sleep, your Malinois will want to be active all day, every day. He wants to stay busy, preferably every second, or they will get bored. And a bored Malinois has a tendency to chew and bite, so be prepared for a destroyed home unless you can keep your dog physically and mentally challenged for long portions of the day. Now, if he doesn't have a job, he'll make sure to find one, and you may not agree with his choice. It's easy to say that the Malinois is one of the most relentless dogs on the planet when it comes to a need to work. If you've never had a Malinois before and you're thinking of getting one, a good tip is to consider a female before a male. The females are said to be softer and easier to handle than the males who can be more 
messy and difficult during their adolescence. A male will want to measure up to other dogs, their own family members, including the children and other animals, other people, not to mention the Malinois has extreme sex drive. This needs to be curbed or you'll end up with a dog whose nose is buried in the ground and who's just peeing everywhere to let everybody know where he's been. Now, the Malinois is an amazing dog, don't get me wrong, but he'll only be amazing if you, his human companion, knows how to bring it out of him. It does take a certain personality to be able to stand these bundles of energy, not to mention know how to bring out the best in them. There's a certain mental resistance in a working dog, especially of this caliber. A meek, more timid person is not the right human for these glorious dogs, and I cannot stress enough how important it is to know yourself well enough to know if you're the right human or not not for this breed. So then, I hope you enjoyed this more deep dive into the Malinois' fascinating temperament. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and remember to subscribe and turn on that notification bell if you're new here, as we've got two dedicated Belgian Malinois videos coming to this channel every single week. And I can't wait to speak to you again on the next episode of the Fenrir Belgian Malinois Show.